Gross Point Theater is celebrating its 74th anniversary with its latest adaptation of the film It's a Wonderful Life, such a classic, and that's also celebrating a major milestone this year. Joining us now to share more on the holiday classic is Danielle Corrales with the Gross Point Theater. Danielle, thank you so much for being with us. I appreciate it. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So let's get right in here. Gross Point Theater has such a rich history in the community. Tell me about how the theater and this theater group has evolved over the years. Yeah, absolutely. Well, again, thanks for having me this morning. We've been in uh, the community here for 74 years, like you mentioned. That's an incredible legacy that we're proud of. And um, and we've maintained the, you know, we've maintain relevancy here in this town essentially by delivering our mission that we stand by, which is to connect, create, and inspire communities through our theater productions. I love that. And you know, we're talking about It's a Wonderful Life. This is one of those stories that you remember watching, your mom remembers watching, your grandmother remembers watching. Every, this is a generational mm -hmm. story. Why do you think this story never loses its appeal? Well, like you said, it's the 75th anniversary of the movie this year. So that's uh, an exciting opportunity for us to celebrate this inspirational story that's influenced so many generations, like you said. You know, I think it's relevant. I think it's important story to tap. It's the themes that, that are woven through it are, are classics, right? I mean, basic goodness, the sense of community and belonging, and, and maybe more and most importantly in our in our region right now is that everyone has a sense of importance and belonging and a valuable part of our society and and sometimes that gets lost and so it's important to keep reminding people of that of course so true and you know the, the movie obviously uh the black and white classic with jimmy stewart that we all grew up watching what makes this so perfect for an adaptation on the big stage and how do things change how do you have to navigate the storyline a little bit moving from a tv narrative to an on-stage narrative well, it's a little different. So this is it's it's um, this is a stage play that is in fact um, showing the re reliving this story in the form of a, like a 1940s radio show. So the the idea of sets and set dressing as we normally think uh, in our normal productions and scene changes and that kinds of things uh, isn't necessary. So it makes it quite adaptable to the stage. Um, the scene takes place inside a, a radio studio and you watch as the actors deliver this story, bring it to life along in, along with um, a very exciting part of the story, which is the um, live sound effects that happen. And that's what makes it particularly interesting to the audience. The audience can watch as they did in the 1940s, putting on these radio shows where, you know, you have to close your eyes and imagine people walking through the snow and, opening and closing doors and ringing telephones. And it's in, in exorbitantly interesting to watch. And you'll find yourself sitting back, closing your eyes and watching the story take place in your head. And we saw so, some of the behind the scenes uh, rehearsals there on the screen just a moment ago. We only have a couple of seconds left, Danielle, but before we go, yeah. where can people get tickets if they're interested in catching this historic show? Sure, the show uh, runs from December 10 through 12th and then the 16th through 19th and tickets are available at gpt.org slash wonderful. We look forward to seeing everybody. Danielle Corrales with Gross Point Theater, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.